Well, I'm Carolina Locke. I'm a senior lecturer in neurobiology at the Faculty of Dentistry here at the University of Otago in the Dunedin. I was born and grew up in Brazil. So I'm from Florianópolis, an island on the coast of Brazil. I studied biology over there. I did a master's in, in zoology and uh, in 2010 decided to have an overseas experience and came to Otago uh, to do my PhD and um, while well, life just happens, I, I never left. My area is oral biology, so we look into the relationship between biology, human evolution, different animals, uh, how we can apply this to dental clinical practice. So I'm very interested uh, in learning about the teeth of different creatures, of different animals, and how we can apply this knowledge to clinical dentistry. I studied this because it's an, an amazing field. There's not many people doing this, so for me it's quite rewarding because all the projects we do will be pretty much world first, so it's pretty amazing. We get teeth from people, from animals, from different creatures. We'll be looking at those under the microscope, uh, we'll be preparing those, we'll be putting them in resin, we'll be sectioning them, polishing them, we'll look at the chemistry of those tissues, uh, we'll look into the mechanical properties, how strong they are and so on. So all those, we use that knowledge to understand about those creatures and of course how we can apply this to a more uh, clinical application or so on. So the teeth are like a black box. You can learn so much about different creatures. You can understand how old an animal or a person is. You can understand the diseases, the problems they went through their lives. You can know if it's a woman, for example, how many kids uh, she had by studying that dentition. It's an amazing uh, tool for us to understand our past populations, animal species that we don't know much about, animal species that lived millions of years ago and we don't, don't really know how they lived because we were not there. Also, I think we can uh, understand about the health of people living today by looking at their dentition. Uh, we can apply some of that basic knowledge in order to design better appliances, uh, better materials that are going to serve people clinically. I tell my students all the time that oral biology is the foundation for dentistry. I think it's a very amazing field, allows you to work in different areas of knowledge. I'm never bored in a day of work. This is the Otago Museum. What we're going to do here, we're going to visit a few galleries and we're going to put a bit into context and some of the knowledge we gather about dental development, about uh, human dentistry as well and how we can use the knowledge from other animals, from other creatures, and apply that to dentistry. I think science is very important because it's one of the truest ways that we can understand the world. I think we really need a thorough understanding of how things work in order uh, to live better lives. I think people make informed decisions when they know what they are uh, talking about. So it's quite important for us to help people understand the, the world around them. 